Hello again. Uh, thanks for joining me on a, another YouTube video. Almost lost me there for a second. Um, and yeah, another YouTube video and another flight review. Uh, I am flying from Los Angeles back to Melbourne today on Qantas, uh, um, the A380 this time. Um, so for those who are watching this video, by this time I would have uploaded the Melbourne to Los Angeles flight uh, on the Boeing 787. Uh, but this time, taking the A380 back to Melbourne. So, some of you might already know, uh, if you watched the other video, I am spending, uh, well, I spent uh, three weeks here in the US. Uh, I came here on the 21st of June, and today is the 11th of July. So, three weeks in total in the US. In summer, it was hot uh, and it was warm. Um, yeah, it wasn't great on the skin, but, you know, uh, might be very looking very different to how the other video was versus now but anyways uh, I am here at the Hilton LAX um, which is a very quick walk across the I don't know why I did that because you can't see Hilton LAX when I just do that but yeah Hilton LAX is a fantastic hotel if you are well doing what I did so I went from Melbourne to LAX uh, Los Angeles went to Las Vegas went to Arizona uh, went to Dallas uh, went to Orlando uh, Charlotte uh, Buffalo uh, New York back to Charlotte and to LAX um, so I arrived yesterday and I am flying out today at about we're boarding at nine o'clock it's 6.30, well, it's almost 6.30 now. Um, and then, yeah, flying back to Melbourne. So this time, the review is going to be about a Qantas A380. Like I said in the last video, there's probably uh, a lot of those reviews already out there um, in the Qantas, but what am I doing? My am just sharing my most recent experience flying on Qantas and on the A380 product. So I'm going to try my level best to keep the video as short as possible um, and try and keep it as informative as possible as well. So anyways, like I said before, here at the Hilton LAX. So for those who have been here before and <coughs> seeing this now for the first time, well... I was here, this exact hotel, this exact location, two years ago. Um, and at that time, this hotel was very different. Very, very, very different because this interior didn't exist. So the hotel's been refurbished, which is great. Uh, rooms and everything is still the same, but the lobby area has been has gone through a very nice refurbishment and it's it looks great so i'll try and do a quick tour but you're not here for the hilton lax review are you so yeah anyways i'll try and keep this video short as possible uh yeah the shuttles as well already i don't know if you can see that this is what what's great so if you can see that whoops the hilton shuttles to la uh, lax is already there uh, it leaves every 20 minutes oh oh that's pretty oh folks yeah so the shuttles leave every 20 minutes um, i'm planning on taking one at 6 30 and i'll just get there and then um yeah cover the basics but anyways um thanks for joining me on another youtube video uh and hope you you know enjoy and take uh, good value out of this video from uh, Los Angeles to Melbourne on the Qantas A380 business class.
Okay, all done with the check-in process, super smooth. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So that's the Qantas check-in area. So for those who have flown in and out of LAX, know very well. Um, yeah, so that side over there is the um, Qantas check-in area. So first, business, premium economy um, and economy um, on that side. So yeah, check-in's all done. Uh, I am now going to go through the infamous TSA <laughs> and then go into the One World Lounge. So I'll quickly show you some clips from there. Um, surely you have seen that before in some other YouTube videos as well. But anyways, I'll show you my version of it. Um, and then um, some clips here and there from my <coughs> excuse me flight from LAX to Melbourne. So thanks for joining me on this journey back to Melbourne. I just got through the famous and the notorious uh, LAX TSA um, so that's all done so it, it was long. it was pretty quick at TSA but just getting to the front of the line is what took longer so I'm kind of like contradicting myself by saying it was quick when it's not quick so anyways I am um, here at the Tom Bradley International Terminal now all checked in all got through I've not got through security and everything so now I am on my way to the because I'm flying business class um, somewhere up there is the One World Lounge or it's technically a combination of all the one-word airlines um, in one single place in a business class lounge so looking forward to going there um, and then um, yeah I've got plenty of time to kill 905 is when the boarding happens it is still 730 so I have plenty of time to kill um, haven't had lunch so save myself for some dinner here at the lounge um, and then yeah, looking forward to my flight back to Melbourne on this Qantas uh, A380. So anyways, just before I forget, I might use this as an opportunity to remind all of you. Let me put some active track on my face before I do it. Just remind all of you to, well, it would be great if you can hit that like button on this video. And also really appreciate it if you can subscribe to my channel as well. I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. And I'm pretty close. I think I'm at about 960 now. So we just need another 40 more to go before hitting the 1000 mark. So I really appreciate your support if you can help me hit that goal. Um, and also I share a lot of my content on Insta. So do follow me on Instagram. Uh, put my handle down somewhere there, but that's me sharing all my travel. So, yeah, it's pretty good actually. Um, <laughs> I share all my travel content on Instagram, so yeah, follow me on Insta uh, where I post all my daily, not daily, or you know, stuff uh, Instagram related. So, all my stories from my US trip is in there as well. So, if you like it, yeah give that a like as well but yeah follow me on instagram uh, and stay up to date with me on my latest struggles but uh that is all for now from this part of uh, lax i'll quickly do a pan around and show you uh, the terminal it's really good because uh, the last time i came here was two years ago and that was the pretty much the well when uh, during covid but straight after covid actually when um you know Things were starting to get back to normal, and I was flying out uh, of LAX uh, after testing positive for COVID two weeks before that. So I isolated myself in none other than Kansas, the middle of nowhere. So yeah, it's good to be back to LAX and to see much, much, much more people traveling around. Uh, and yeah, good to see the terminal very, very busy. That's all for now. All right, see you in the lounge. Okay, welcome to the uh, One World Lounge here at LAX. I'll quickly, it's, it's very busy, so I'll do my level best to not get into other people's space.
personal space and quickly show you what's on offer on the menu. Some noodles here. What's this? Empty. Eggplant. Some cucumbers. Oops, all right. Um, spring rolls, chicken, chips, meatballs. The salad section here. I'll do a quick turn around. Some turkey sandwiches here. Rice. And I have this one before. Uh, it's called the Spanish Chicken and Peppers, which is amazing. And then you have soup here. So that's the main area. And then you have your all day salad section. Uh, so you have the mixed green salad, Caesar salad, and the Asian coleslaw. And your sweet section. Oh wow, they just put the tiramisu. There was cheesecake here. Now it's tiramisu, which is great. And, and you have your cheese and crackers section here. I really did miss out on the cheesecake, but tiramisu can't go wrong. And then tea and coffee on that side. Um, and I'll quickly show you the bar area. So this lounge is a bit. Let's see. All right. I'll just take that out. So this lounge is a bit crowded, but the reason for that is um, it is shared by a whole bunch of One World Airlines. Uh, so yeah, the, the bar area is pretty busy, uh, well, shouldn't say pretty busy, it is busy, but uh, not pretty busy, but <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so you got your basic things that you need. And on this side, all the sweets and crackers and olives, but uh, yeah, so, and that's... And that's the bar. So I am now uh, going to have some tiramisu myself with a cup of tea. And yeah, I shouldn't. I'm, 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 <coughs> I'm making a big mistake. I shouldn't be uh, topping up on a lot of food when there's a whole bunch of uh, amazing food on board. So, anyways. That's a quick tour of the One World Business Lounge here in LAX International. All right, I am at gate 152, which is a left from here. Took me a while to figure out. So yeah, done with the lounge. Uh, yeah, the boarding has just started. Boarding was supposed to happen at five past nine. It's quarter past nine, so slightly delayed, but that's okay. All right, all checked in. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be all checked in. All on board this flight uh, from Los Angeles to Melbourne. <laughs> sorry, this uh, this thing seems to be coming off. Yeah, okay, that's better. All right, so I am in seat <coughs> 24 kilo. Yeah, so seat 24 kilo. Um, yeah, so pretty standard seat. Um, I did my, I did get myself um, some Qantas PJs, which I will be putting on a bit later on, yeah, and then 
menu card, um, had the breakfast card which I filled in and handed over earlier. Amenities kit, the same thing I had on the way uh, from Melbourne to LA. You got your headset, which I'm not going to use. What a bottle. Uh, and then after that, oh yeah, you got your blanket. <laughs> I forgot. And then your seat cushion. That's it. So. Yeah. And then um, some of you might know that uh, there's a couple of um, compartments that you could use for storage. So that gentleman there uh, in front was using that compartment and I closed it earlier. Apologies to that gentleman. But yeah, I get, <coughs> excuse me, I get to here, which <coughs> I put my stuff in there. That's it. So yeah, so this is going to be a 15 hour flight. That's what's advertised on the um, on the app. Um, I hope it's less. So really looking forward to this flight from LA to Melbourne. So it is a full, full flight. Business class is packed. Uh, so is economy. So yeah, so we I think we're still waiting for the last bit of boarding to uh, happen and then we should be on our way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and then we should be on our way to Melbourne. So yeah, when I saw, when I was boarding, I did see that there was a line to economy. It was pretty big. So yeah, I guess that's what the hold up is. Because otherwise we should have been off by now. Anyways, uh, I'll quickly show you the menu on this flight to Melbourne. Plant-based options. Uh, there's a seared halibut, ginger shallot chicken. So that's probably what I'm gonna eat with some um, sesame and jasmine rice, uh, and then the beef fillet. I've seen some videos that the beef can be a hit and miss, so probably not gonna have that. Uh, green salad, and to finish, there's some um, uh, ice cream. Um, <coughs> go with the seasonal fruit probably uh, and the mid-flight you have all of these options and then your breakfast order which I've already done so I've gone for some muesli so yeah I've gone for some muesli in the breakfast option um, so yeah spirits quite a lot I hope you can see that <coughs> excuse me I'll come down with a cough while I was in LA um, tested for COVID definitely not COVID yeah, I, I've got something and that's kind of like made it worse so apologies for the cough um, here and there uh, but yeah so there's champagne there's wine <coughs> spirits cognac beer sake oh sake is only served on flights from Japan to and from, from Japan so ignore that and then yeah hot drinks <coughs> that's it so that's all for now uh, we'll and get some footage with takeoff usually um, a nighttime takeoff from LA you're not gonna see a lot um, and then yeah I'll just see if I can cover the key call outs in this flight the safety video has just kicked in fasten your seatbelt by inserting the clasp into the buckle and tighten by pulling the strap if your seat is fitted with a sash belt Ensure it's in place for takeoff and landing. You can undo your seatbelt by pressing the button or lifting the flap. Keep it done up low and tight during takeoff, landing, and whenever the seatbelt sign is on. This includes infants and children. While seated at other times, we recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened. <coughs> You'll find your life jacket under your seat Next to it, all, all right, your leg push rest. back. Remove your life jacket from the pouch by pulling the tab. Put it over your head, pass the strap around your waist, clip at the front, then tighten. There's a red tag. Thank <laughs> you.
really fascinating about the E380 is that how quiet it is. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, for such a massive aircraft, the, the inside of the cabin is so quiet, uh, which is amazing. So uh, I've been on loud aircraft. <laughs> The 777 in particular, the A321 uh, or A320 is pretty loud as well, but you know, for a four engine aircraft, you know, double decker, this is so quiet. You know, I think you can hear me really well, even though I'm using the, uh, <coughs> even though I'm using the mic. Yeah, I'm always fascinated by the fact that the A380 is such a quiet aircraft. Amazing. Yep, so I guess we just took off uh, straight over to the ocean because, um, you know, you're heading west of LA, so straight over the ocean um, and into Australia. So let me see if I can quickly get the map up. It's going to be 14 hours and 59 minutes. I uh, hope we get some tailwinds, uh, but usually it's unlikely at this time of the year from uh, <coughs> from US to Melbourne. But <coughs> uh, hang on. gimbals automatically you know aligning itself all right so flight preview all right so that's what, this is what i meant so we take off straight away over the ocean and over the ocean, over the ocean, over Fiji and into Melbourne. So yeah, 15 hours. <laughs> okay, we are a couple of um, minutes or maybe about half an hour to about 45 minutes into the flight. So it's another three, 13 hours and 56 minutes to go on this flight to Melbourne so we are about here right now um, and yeah, so far a very smooth flight and now the meal service has just started so I am um, going for the Jekyll meal but I've got my salad sparkling water going to avoid alcohol on this flight well <laughs> already having a glass of wine so that's a bit of you know already some alcohol in me but anyways um, yeah so technically um, this is your startup so your green salad <laughs> and um, yeah we've been uh, well I was given the option of um, picking some you know slice of bread and um, I went for the normal startup and I've been really spoiled for choice here uh, and I've been given two slices of the normal sourdough and then I've been given one extra slice of the seeded sourdough. I've been told to try... Where am I? Yep, so I've been told to try both. So a fantastic service so far on uh, this flight to Melbourne. Um, yeah, um, yeah, this one's, you know, a fantastic service so the crew is really lovely which is great um, and yeah, the flight's been fantastic so far so anyways going to enjoy this meal but I don't uh, I'm not sure if I did a seat tour <coughs> seat tour earlier but you know you have your normal standard uh, uh, you know area for your magazines and things like that and then your screen um, as a you know and a very good app geek. I don't have any entertainment playing on my screen. Instead, I've got maps, and that's going to be the screen for the entire flight. 
it's either that or turned off. Um, am I the only one? Tell me on the comment section below. Am I the only one uh, who do not use the in-flight entertainment system, whereas all my entertainment is on my phone and downloaded on Netflix? Am I the only one? Let me know. I hope I'm not the only one, because all my entertainment's on my phone, ready to go. I plugged in, and sometimes um, I I watch movies, things I've watched multiple times, or listen to podcasts uh, that you know, is talk shows and things like that. That puts me to sleep really quickly. So that's my hack. Um, what's yours? Uh, but yeah, never the entertainment uh, system on the flight. <laughs> anyway, so I think I, I don't know if I showed this earlier, but got your standard seat um, this, this, this is pretty similar to the standard Qantas uh, business class seat but uh, this is on the, this is much of the, the refurbished uh, A380 product with the with the black seats and um, you know it's the same seat but um, it looks much more nicer with the black finish so yeah what I really love about the A380 is this uh, this storage uh, on the side, uh, which is great. Um, I don't know if you saw it on the previous video. So I usually put my bags right about there. Uh, I hope you can see that with my foot. But um, you know, when you have storage on the side, you can put your bag uh, on that side and have plenty of space there. So yeah. Anyways. So. Oh, sorry, keep on moving this around. So it's only another 13 hours and 52 minutes to go. So thanks for joining me on this journey from Melbourne to Los Angeles on this Qantas A380. Okay, so... <coughs> Alright, so Dean is here. Um, and yeah, it looks really good. So I'm having the chicken meal with the jasmine rice. And I'm still halfway through the bread. Yeah, spoiled for choice, but yeah, this looks really good. So, uh, for anyone um, who might be interested in knowing this, but just wanted to kind of quickly remind um, that, you know, I try my level best to, well, capture, <coughs> excuse me, to capture some really good content, but also at the same time, respect the privacy of other people. Um, and most importantly the privacy of the crew as well so just a reminder that that most of these airlines so if you're getting into the YouTube game like I am I think it's always very good to um, understand the terms and conditions of carriage of airlines if you're going to do airline videos or well if you're doing just videos of day-to-day -day things uh, which is which is very important, uh, especially with Qantas and a lot of airlines. Uh, there is this uh, rule where you are not allowed to capture the faces of the crew and also the other passengers. So uh, that is as part of the uh, terms of uh, well, part of the carriage rule. So yeah, you got to be very careful. Uh, Qantas didn't have this, uh, but. I think about six, seven months ago, they put this into effect and you are no longer allowed to film the crew and also the other passengers. But the thing with the crew was a bit of a recent one. So yeah, always make sure that when you're trying to capture content, uh, do that in a safe and respectful, respectful way. With another 12 hours and 48 minutes to go, uh, the meal service is now done. And I can see that you can't see me. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, I am going to get some well-deserved rest um, and sleep as much as possible. And then hopefully wake up in time for the breakfast service. And yeah, um, it's so far very uneventful, which is great. Uh, that, that's what you want on a flight. Um, and. Um, amazing service from the Qantas crew here as well so anyway so I am now going to go into the play flat position and let's see if I can do that but yeah so which is great this is position now you definitely can't see me but that's okay 
Um, <coughs> but yeah, so I really hope you can see that, but there is a very high chance that you cannot. Anyway, so uh, that's my, you know, what do you call this? The pretty much the seat on the left hand side with uh, oh, actually. The, uh, even though you can't see me, uh, one great thing about, I think most of you frequent flyers already know about this, but if you don't know it, uh, what's really good about these seats is that if you get uh, the window side on the business class product, uh, that is amazing for privacy. So the um, so you have this thing on the left hand side, which gives you added privacy, which is fantastic. I really love that seat. Uh, whereas, you know, the seat in front or the seat behind, me has the um, you're more close to the aisle which means there's less privacy so yeah these are my favorite seats when you have this design uh, on, on, on to your left which gives you much 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 more privacy which is great anyways so that's all for now I am going to stop filming uh, and then uh, yeah the maybe the next time I see you in this video will be for breakfast service and for landing so morning i am uh, how many hours one hour and 12 minutes away from landing into melbourne uh, it's been a very smooth flight so far um, i love how the a3 is pretty quiet it helps you sleep as well uh, yeah we're now into uh, <coughs> excuse me breakfast uh, service i went with some um, fruit with yogurt and uh, uh, the muesli with yogurt and a cup of coffee with some um, orange juice. I don't know if you can even see that properly, but yeah. So the, the flight's been amazing. And um, yeah, I also um, woke up halfway through and decided to stretch my legs a little bit and uh, go to the, the, you know, the, the lounge kind of area um, at the front of the cabin. Um, you might have already seen that uh, in other videos, or if not, my previous video uh, my part, well, part of the previous video so yeah so it's been a great flight so far um, we are exactly here right now um, one hour and 11 minutes away uh, current time in LA is actually 12 or 3 p.m. Uh, and Melbourne is close to about six o'clock from memory I can't remember but yeah so I'll, I'll also quickly um, show the <coughs> current journey that we've had um, I love this map this is so interactive uh, so we are here right now I will go to the total route and yeah, so we started here over the Pacific <coughs> over Fiji past the date um, line and into Melbourne. <coughs> okay, thanks for joining me on this flight from LA to Melbourne. Uh, I feel like I haven't covered a lot and the reason for that is there isn't a lot to cover. So I've done a tour of the seat plenty of space uh, and I've showed all, you, all of these things as well so you got your 
uh, seat settings and then your power adapters so the power points usb and the headphone jack you get your glass of sorry bottle bottle uh, soundproof headset and all of that so so yeah there hasn't been a lot to cover on this i just wanted to do a video and you know share my experience i hope you enjoyed it yeah. and um, if you are flying anytime soon safe travels um, yeah so hopefully my video covers something that you haven't seen before but yeah um, one of the main reasons why i wanted to do this video was because um, I just wanted to show you what the A380 business class product on Qantas is like because there hasn't been a video released in a long time so the product I feel like is the same from two to three years ago uh, nothing much has changed but the service is great um, you see it's pretty good um, you can't complain so yeah overall this has been a very uneventful flight which is great and as the uneventful as it not much to cover and so thank you very much for joining me on this trip and before um, i sign off i don't know i might try and capture some other footage of the landing or if there's anything extra but oh, just really quickly before uh before i sign off uh, how much did i pay for this flight uh, i did pay a uh, hundred and ten thousand points uh, yeah, it was. I think it was about a hundred thousand points. I can't remember actually. It was about a hundred thousand points plus taxes, which came to about four hundred dollars. So yeah, overall a fantastic deal. Um, don't quote me on that, but I do know that it was a hundred thousand points. Uh, I think the taxes were much less. So yeah. So only for except for the taxes, the rest of the flight's free, which is great. Your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is switched off. As always, smoking, vaping and the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted while disembarking or throughout the terminal. Please take care when opening the overhead lockers as baggage may have moved and could fall out. Before leaving, ensure you check your seat and your seat pocket for any personal items. If you can reach your phone, you can now turn off flight mode. On behalf of all of us here at Qantas and One World, thank you for choosing to fly with us. If you're visiting Melbourne, we hope you enjoy your stay. And of course, to those returning, welcome home.